today we have the pleasure of speaking with Ms. Elizabeth Wager of the Committee on Publication Ethics, COPE. How have you seen publishers as well as researchers adapting to economic changes for the increased pressure for publication? In some ways, they've seen it as an opportunity. So the, as the volume of publications go up, um, there have been responses such as the sort of the mega journals, things like PLOS One, journals with a sort of perhaps a, a lighter hand of peer review, the higher acceptance rate, um, and as you say, more use of the post-publication, not so much peer review as sort of filtering. So functions like faculty of a thousand, comment functions, so that the the ethos was rather than the journal editor decides what's interesting for the community to read, the journal editor just checks that it looks sound and valid, posts it up there, and then the community decides for themselves you know, whether it's interesting or not. So there certainly has been increased volume. In terms of the uh, pressure and the misconduct and so on, it's always almost impossible to say whether misconduct is increasing because we never know what the denominator is and we never had a very good figure for it in the past. But I think it's certainly true to say that with the more sophisticated tools uh, and with editors being more alert to certain forms of misconduct, we're certainly seeing more of it. So when Journal of Cell Biology started to screen routinely for image manipulation, they found it in one in 100 images. And in terms of the text matching software, a pattern that we're seeing is journals who initially say, oh, this is quite good, but I don't think I've really got much problem with my journal. You know, I think I'll, I'll just keep it for when I have some suspicions. And then they gradually move it sort of further and further upstream. So then they sort of say, oh, well, actually, you know, I'm seeing more and more, and I don't know when I'm going to have a suspicion or not, so I will run a check, you know, with nearly all. And then they say, well, perhaps we ought to just check everything before it's accepted. And then some people are actually saying, hang on, I want to check everything at submission. Um, and I think that's been, that's been an interesting trend as well.